Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. As we move into 2014, we'd like to take a quick look back with you at some of our favorite moments, large and small, from the 2013 White House Video Library. There's quite a bit to choose from, but we're able to narrow it down to 10. You can view the videos in their entirety at whitehouse.gov, and now, in no particular order, we present the 2013 Best of the West Wing Week. In April, Steven Spielberg helped out on a video for the 2013 White House Correspondents' Dinner. Picking the right actor to play Obama, that was the challenge. I mean, who is Obama, really? We don't know. Was it hard playing Obama? I'll be honest, yeah, it was. This accent took a while. Hello, Ohio! Hello, Ohio! I love you back. Good to see you. In January, and again in November, the President and First Lady surprised tours in the Blue Room. I just met the President. <laughs> It was a huge surprise. Yeah, good to see you. Tell everybody back in Sweden we said hello. In August, we introduced the newest Obama, Sonny, to the world. Also in August, to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington and Dr. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech, President Obama delivered remarks from the Lincoln Memorial. We may never duplicate the swelling crowds and dazzling procession of that day so long ago. No one can match King's brilliance, but the same flame that lit the heart of all who are willing to take a first step for justice, I know that flame remains. In October, the President and First Lady invited Malala Yousafzai to the Oval Office for a signing of a proclamation of the International Day of the Girl. You are a perfect example of what this proclamation is about, which is how we can make sure that we're empowering young women everywhere. This spring, the White House Science Fair brought 100 students from more than 40 states to an all-day, hands-on celebration of the power and potential of science, technology, engineering, and math education. All of you are uh, you know, participants in this long line of inventors and creators uh, that have made this the most dynamic economy and the most dynamic country on Earth. In April, Robbie Novak, better known as Kid President, visited the White House, where he was received by President Obama and also recorded a special message for the White House website. It looks like you're expecting somebody else, but April Fool's on all y'all. West Wing Week brought you to locations all across the globe with Vice President Biden in 2013. He occasionally was joined by Dr. Jill Biden. The vice president traveled to strengthen bonds with allies and forge new relationships and partnerships internationally. From Brasilia to Beijing, Trinidad to Tokyo, Mumbai to Mexico, and Singapore to Seoul, just to name a few. In March, making the first foreign trip of his second term in office, President Obama visited Israel, the West Bank, and Jordan. Isn't that neat? Wow. That's beautiful. On January 21st, at 11.55 Eastern Time, President Obama delivered his second inaugural address from the steps of the United States Capitol, calling on all of us to seize the moment together. My fellow Americans, we are made for this moment and we will seize it so long as we seize it together. For we, the people, understand that our country cannot succeed when a shrinking few do very well and a growing many barely make it. We believe that America's prosperity must rest upon the broad shoulders of a rising middle class. We know that America thrives when every person can find independence and pride in their work. When the wages of honest labor liberate families from the brink of hardship, we are true to our creed when a little girl born into the bleakest poverty knows that she has the same chance to succeed as anybody else because she is an American, she is free, and she is equal not just in the eyes of God, but also in our own. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Wing Week. How can kids and grown-ups work together to change the world? Well, I think that the most important thing we can all do is to treat each other with kindness and respect.